Hello everyone. In this episode of my CapCut tutorial series, I'm gonna show you how to create an intro like the one I showed you just now. Alright, so the first step in creating the video inside text effect is to create a video of static text like this. To do this, create a new project, and let's call it video title. Then simply add the desired texts, and format them according to your preferences. For this example, I'll add two lines of text of different sizes, to give more emphasis on the main title line. Then I'll make the video's length 8 seconds, which should be enough for a title. And now we need to export this video before we can use it to create a cool intro I showed you just now. Once the export is done, create another new project for the actual video. Then add our main video and the video title we created just now to this project. Place the main video on the main track. And the video title on another track above it. Alright, now we've come to the main editing steps. Intuitively, to make the effect of the text gradually becoming translucent, we would immediately think of animating the text chroma key property. But this method has a slight problem as I'll be showing in a while. So as you can see here, the text fill color fades out too fast in the beginning of the animation, leaving only the outlines fading out slowly at the end of it, which is very undesirable. To avoid this problem, instead of animating the chroma key, we're gonna make the text translucent from the start of the title clip. So with the title clip being selected, on the clip properties panel, click video, and then click cutout. On the cutout tab, select chroma key, click the color picker tool, and then click anywhere within the text on the video player. Then increase the strength and the shadow values of the chroma key until you get the desired result. And now if we play the video from the start, we should have something like this. Alright, to get the fade in and the fade out effects on the video title, we'll need to add another copy of the original title clip and place it between the current tracks. We'll edit this title clip to get the fade effects. So first, with the second title clip being selected and the playhead placed at the start of the clip, show the basic video properties panel. On the basic video properties panel, select blend and expand it to show its settings. Click the add keyframe button and set the clip's opacity to zero. Now go back to the timeline and select the main video clip. Then with the playhead still placed at the start of the clip, on the main video's blend properties, click the add keyframe button and set the opacity to zero. Now move the playhead to the 1 second mark of the timeline to add a 1 second fade in effect to the video title. Select the second title clip and set its opacity back to 100. This will also automatically add the current frame to the opacity property as the end keyframe of the fade in animation. Now click the main video clip and add the current frame as another keyframe of the clip's opacity property. This will make the main video remain hidden throughout the video title's fade in animation. Now move the playhead to the 1.5 second mark of the timeline. We'll make this frame as the start keyframe of the fade in animation. So first, we'll have to make sure that the main video is already visible at this point of time. So with the main video being selected, set its opacity to 100%. Now click the second title clip and add the current frame to its opacity property. Then move the playhead to the 3.5 second mark of the timeline and set the clip's opacity to zero. Now if we play the video from the start, we should have the fade in and the fade out effects. Alright, to add the zooming in effect, we'll need to edit the first title clip. So first, I will place the playhead at the 4 second and 20 frame mark of the timeline. And then click the first title clip to show its properties. Add the current frame to the clip scale and position properties as the start keyframe of the zooming in animation. Then I will move the playhead to the 7 second mark of the timeline. Now set the clip scale and position properties to the desired values. And finally, we'll also add a quick fade out effect to this title clip over the last 0.5 second it's zooming in animation. Alright, now let's play the video from the beginning to see the full result. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so that's how easy it is to make a video inside text effect in CapCut. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.